Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Thank you for visiting the channel. Hopefully you'll stay and subscribe if you are coming back. Thanks again. So it's a wealth building channel, but in order to get wealth, you need to do some kind of work. Either work for yourself or work for somebody else. So this is one of those videos where you are looking to work for somebody else. Um, this is mainly going to be for psychologists, and it's also going to be mainly for the U.S. So I'm mainly looking in United States for work on this one, so I'm sorry my global people, my Europeans. This may not be for you unless you want to move over here in the States. They may have some remote jobs on here. I'm not sure. I haven't pre-looked at everything to see what they have. We're going to look at this together. And you can determine whether it works for you or not. Try to stick with me all the way through, if possible. Okay, so this is a usajobs.gov. You don't need any money to get on here. You do need to create a profile. And that includes, like, all your, you know, where you worked, your transcripts, your certifications, and you can get a entry level job here if you don't have any experience and right out of college. So if you don't want to set up your own business because you need money now, okay, and you are right out of school, you can get an entry level job in the government and work your way up. And there are great benefits. I've been in the government almost my whole life. I've left a few times and came back. Because it's pretty rough out there. So I just want to say some of the benefits are great retirement benefits. You got your IRAs. You got your Roth. You got days off paid. And you can get this stuff right away as soon as you start working. You do not have to wait a year to get these benefits. So if you need health benefits, if you just had a child, you're getting ready to have children, and you don't need the stress of worrying if you're going to get clients as a psychologist then this might be a great option for you I just do want to tell you up front though that the government is not fast I can tell you this from experience that they can take anywhere from two months to six months to even get an interview and there's no guarantee you're going to even get an interview so my suggestion is is that you apply for as many as possible that you can qualify for um, they are all over the United States, so I don't know where you want to go. You will have to decide that. But you can see the Veterans Affairs looks like they have the most listed here. I know that the Bureau of Prisons also has some because they need psychologists as well. All I see mostly here is the VA, mostly. <laughs> but they must be doing a mass hiring. I put like the, the latest ones up on the screen. So you can see that the VA has them all over the U.S. Okay, so wherever you want to go, we're going to look at the pay scale in one second. I was trying to find something other than the VA. Um, okay, the CIA has one too. Okay, good. Um, CIA has some. I'm sure the Bureau of Prisons has them too, but nothing's popping up right now. All right, so we're just going to have to go with the VA right now. Uh, also, the military, military or homeland security, if you see them pop up here, are also going to take longer than other places. But it looks like the VA is loaded. So, but I would keep checking this. You're going to save your search wherever your search is. There's a place to save it, search. And right here, save this search. So that way you don't have to keep going through this every time. Save your search and then sort it by the open date so you don't have to keep going through hundreds and hundreds of stuff open date descending okay so the latest and greatest will appear on top okay mental health specialist okay they also have that they call it all right so let's look at the pay scales for a minute so let's assume that you are right out of school and you don't really have a whole lot of experience. But you need to get your foot in the door. Okay. So you might be starting off like right here. 
you can go as high and this will change this goes up three to four percent every year depending on who the president is um, how much they authorize our cost of living increases what they call it cola c-o-l-a uh, that goes up three to four percent depends on inflation and what they you know if it's a political year they're running for office they'll usually give you more all right so the pay scales over here go by city you know some of the cities pay more of course common sense right they do have a base but and then it'll go up depending upon what city you're going in okay so if you're going to long beach it may be more we can click on long beach actually and see what's going on here okay so they're giving you what or they're giving you here is like a base okay this is for louisiana um this is starting off these are some of the duties that you're going to perform as a staff psychologist this is not virtual it's and it's telework is not available so if that's important to you you make sure that you look in here under work schedule and see your work hours are going to be this pretty much and you're going to probably be working with um, people that have been that are veterans you know and they've been through trauma is what I'm thinking alright so here is the qualifications for your education there's also an internship if you need if you would like to get in that um basic requirements it says here pending the completion of educational may be referred and tentatively selected but not require um and, but may not be required hired until all requirements are met so you will need to read through this and make sure you got it now an 11 is pretty high up so you're going to need to it doesn't say here experience if you notice it says ability do you have the ability yeah you would have the ability right and you have the knowledge as long as you've got ability and knowledge now if it's asking for spirit experience and then um, that's a different thing all right let me click on something else let me click on clinical clinical I was looking for something lower but it looks like 11 is the lowest that I can see and when I say the lowest I'm talking about salary usually if it's a lower salary that means you can get in at an entry-level job now if you've been doing it a while then of course you're gonna be you can start off here almost a hundred okay from what I see yeah, so if you got experience, you can just jump right in at about a 95 and it will go up. Let's look at the salaries for a minute. I was trying to find something other than VA. Let me go back here and do open date descending. I'm going to try and find one for the prison system too while, while I put you on hold okay so we're gonna go back and look at some of the salaries here okay so this is how you see how much you're getting paid for instance clicking on psychologist home based primary care in Durham North Carolina so if you go over here to the overview this is when it closes so you need to get started and after 915 there will, you will not be able to apply so let's say for instance you're gonna start off this is how you see what you're getting paid you're going to start off at a GS11 so you go over here to the salary scale and if I forget to put a link in the description somebody yell at me okay now I just randomly picked North Beach but we can go to North Carolina you go to the city that you know you want to go to here's North Carolina South Carolina okay so it's going to start off here at an 11 and this is an entry level okay you're going to re read this description these are the duties that you're going to be able to do, to do and you need to make sure that you can do them these are some of the qualifications okay um, these are some of the skills and abilities and knowledge that you need responsibilities that you're going to have in the clinic 
all right um hybrid for compensation and pensions role uh, i'm guessing so you can have a hybrid job here which means you may go in some days and you may not you may be you may be able to work at home one day a week or so and do some of your work you may not have to come in every single day okay so you are going to start at a GS11. Let's look at that. This one says 68915, but again, I told you that. This here may be the base. All right, it fluctuates a little up and down, but basically, if you have no experience or you can only do some of this stuff, there's only one vacancy here, so it's going to be pretty competitive, is my guess. Um, and it's probably going to take at least two months. If there's if there's more than one vacancy, you have more of a chance to get in. They're going to do more of interviews. They're going to hire more. Okay. Um, you're going to start off here. This is the way it works. And if you perform the way you're supposed to successfully, you will get a promotion the next year to a 13. It is 11 to 13. Okay, um, if you perform successfully, you'll get your 12. Never mind on the 13. You got to go 11, then the promotion the next year is 80, and then you'll go to 95. This is when you'll hit your cap pretty much right here. It's going to fluctuate a little bit. You know, it's going to go up three to 4,000 every year, maybe a little more because we got inflation. The cost of living will be added. And so it's going to be primarily... It's going to be more than this, but this is how it works. You're going to hit a cap or a wall right about here, and you're going to have to decide whether you are willing to stay at this or you're going to apply for other jobs or open your own practice, which is even better, right? You probably have enough experience. You might even be able to open your own practice at that point. All right, so this is basically the way this is working and if you need any more assistance you can feel free to contact me on my website at ltgcoach.com and you'll need to go to usajobs.gov and type in psychologist mental health and um, apply okay good luck everybody